Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Malakrishna. Hello, students. How are you? Okay, today we discuss about class 10 real number. It is a new syllabus for AP 2024 to 25 CBA syllabus and also NCT syllabus. Okay, so first we can discuss about example 1. Consider the number 44N where N is a natural number. Okay, natural number means what? Counting numbers. So the number is 44N. Check whether there is a, any value of N for which 44N ends with the digit 0. So if a number is end with the digit 0, that means it is a multiples of 10. Okay, that is it is multiples of 2 and 5. So here for example 20. 20 is the end with the digit 0. So that is here 20 is a multiples of 10. 10 to ja. Okay, 10 to we can write as multiples of 2, that is 2 into 2 into 5 by using prime factorization method. So, for example, 50. 50, how you can write 50? It is end with a digit 5. So, that is 10, 5. Ja. So, that one also we can write as 2 into 5 into 5. Okay, so if a number is end with a digit 0, it's, it is multiples of 10 or it is prime factorization in 2 and 5. Okay, so here they given the question, we check whether the number 4 for m is end with a digit 0. So here given number given number 4 for m for all natural number for all m belongs to natural number. So m is equal to 1 then the number 4 for m is equal to 4. So 4 how can write as 2 into 2 by using prime factorization method. So the number is end with the digit 4 for n is equal to 1. So next n is equal to 2 that is 4 square. 4 square means 4 into 4 that is equal to how much 16. So when the 16 is end with the digit 6 for n is equal to 2 its prime factorization is 2 and into 2 into 2 into 2. So it is multiples of 2 and its prime factorization is only 2. Okay. So n is equal to 3 that is equal then 4 cube that is 4 into 4 into 4 4 into 4 16 64 and 64 so it is end with the digit 4 for n is equal 3 so its prime factorization is that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, into 2. so here yeah. for all n is equal to n so you can write as 4 for n it is end with the end end with the digit either 4 or 6 4 or 6 and its prime factorization is 2 power n. Its prime factorization is 2 power n. So here 2 power n. So here if it is n with a digit 0, it is multiples of 10. Okay. So the number the number 4 power n for n belongs to natural number is n with it n with digit. 4 or 6 and its and its prime factorization and its prime factorization is 2 power n 2 power n if it is if 4 power n is n with digit 0 digit 0 its prime factorization is 2 and 5. 2 and 5. But it is impossible. But it is impossible. Why? Why? Because it is n with the digit 4 or 6 and its prime factorization is only 2. Next. Find the LCM and HCF of 6 and 20 by the prime factorization method. So prime factorization method means what? The number can be write as product of power of prime numbers. So here they given the numbers 6. So 6, how you can write prime numbers? What are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 and so on. So what is called prime number? So a number having no factors except one and itself. The numbers are called prime numbers. So here two. So first we can divide with two. Two three ja, three one ja. Twenty. 
So six, how you can write two, three, four, three, one. Seventy-two, how you can write two, thirty-six, two, eighteen, two, nine, three, 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 one. One twenty, how you can write two, sixty, two, thirty, two, fifteen, three, five, five, one. So now. Six. How you can write two into three? Seventy-two. How you can write product of five factors two into two into two into three into three? One twenty. How you can write two into two into two three into five? So here, the, what does it mean? HCF and LCF. HCF means what? How can take in five factors method? Take that least common five factors. So in this three. Prime factors of three numbers. What are the common prime factor? Two. Here two, two, two. So two here multiple one time. Here two is multiple how many times? Three times. Here two is multiple how many times? Three times. So what that list one two. So here two is HCF. Next LCM. How do you can take LCM? Highest multiple of all prime factors. So here two here multiple how many times? Three times. Yeah, three times. Yeah, one time. What the yes? Yeah, two times. Three times of two. Two into two into two. Next three. Yeah, highest multiple of all prime factors. So two is complete. Next three. Three are multiple number times. Two times. Yeah, one time. That is three into three into five. So two two ja four four three ja or four two ja eight eight three ja twenty four twenty four three ja seventy two seventy two five ja three sixty. So HCF is two and LCM is three sixty of these three numbers six and seventy two and one twenty by using prime factors method. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and share to your friends. If you like it, is please share to your friends. I want to, I make more videos if you want. Thank you.